Right, here's just uh, a couple of things that I've got today uh, through the post or I've gone, when I've gone out shopping um, so to add to my preps. Uh, I've got uh, eight cans of uh, um, Asda Smart Priced uh, coffee, instant coffee at uh, 47p a, a jar. Um, I don't think it's going to be anything spectacular. Uh, it's not going to be a gourmet coffee by any means, but it'll... Uh, you know, it'll make a hot brew, uh, and that's what you need. Uh, I can either use it for bartering or for myself, really. Uh, again, stocked up on some rice. Um, just this time it is as the uh, for, sorry, 40p this time uh, for a, a 1kg uh, bag. That'll go into me uh, into my Mylar bags, uh, as will the coffee. Uh, I got these as well um, for 50p. Uh, it's uh, like a curried spinach. Uh, and the date on them is two thousand December two thousand and fourteen. So I've got like a year, two years on that type of thing. Um, the, the the reason I got these uh, is because the the shop I went to or the as that I went to is in a place called Jewsbury, which is in West Yorkshire, uh, which is a very high um, uh, percentage of Asians. It's a you know big Asian community, uh, and it was amazing um, through going say from Castleford. Uh, in West Yorkshire, which is a, a predominantly white area, uh, you know, to an Asda there, to an Asian, you know, a, an Asda in a, uh, you know, a big uh, Asian area, uh, and the different types of stuff, the stock, like lentils and you know things like that. Uh, I didn't get any any of the the black eyed peas or lentils or stuff they had at the the uh, Asda this time, but I will be going back there uh, in the near future. Uh, but I thought, yeah, I'd, I'd get these uh, and give them a quick try. It's fifty p a can, and like I said, it's curried. Uh, Curried spinach. The other thing I got, I got two packs of these Bombay mix. Um, only, as you'll tell, you know, there's only one there now. Because uh, I thought, well, I might as well try them. Um, and get, you know, give them a quick test. And I've already done half the packet. Uh, so I need to stop eating it, but I can't help myself. Uh, so that one is going to have to go into me, um, into my stores uh, as quick as possible before I eat that one. Um, just pop past the, the local Tesco's. Um, because my wife wanted me to pick it, pick something up for her. While I was in there, I got a uh, paracetamol, ibuprofen, and Isla clothes for your, you know for your toothache and stuff like that. Um, great, great little bit of kit they are. Uh, and these uh, very cheap, um, you know. But you need to add stuff like this to your to your preps. Um, and they'd only sell me these two. They wouldn't sell me any more. Just the two of them, just in case I was going to top myself. Um, I can find a better way to top it myself than uh, tacky roofing. Uh, while I was out, I went to a, a shop uh, in Wakefield as well. Um, it's called Go Outdoors. It's a national uh, chain uh, up and down the country. Uh, so they have some very good deals. I suggest you get the uh, the discount card. Uh, it costs you a fiver, but I, earned that. I went to the one in Birmingham the other weekend. Uh, bought two uh, winter jackets. One for the wife. One for the one of me. Uh, sorry, one for the wife and one for me, me lad. Uh, for 20 quid a piece, um, all these puffer jacket types of things, um, and some other stuff, and I'd earn me 20 quid, you know, me, me fiver back, uh, my first purchase. So yeah, so I've been up there today, and I've got these um, camping gas uh, quick click, uh, or easy click I think they're called, uh, for some of my um, storm lanterns. i only got two, um, so I'm in no real rush for that type of stuff at the minute. Uh, I can you know steady away uh, getting that stuff. My main lighting uh, for the house is going to be 12 volt anyway, uh, which I've got um, 12 volt emergency strips, uh, and we've got plenty of battery. You know we've got two car, sorry, four, three car batteries and a motorbike battery, so that should be all right for short term. I also picked up a, a couple of fleece um, jumpers. Uh, I think these were six quid a piece. Um, regatta. Um, which I've got no problem with, you know, regatta and, you know, people say, oh, you know, it's cheap and stuff like that. It's not cheap. That's probably made in the same, you know, the same factory as your, your North Face gear and your carry mores and everything like that. Um, there's no difference these days. It's only, it's only when you start going to the, the high-end technical uh, equipment that, you know, the, the, the name and the, the, uh, the, the price um, matters anymore. Uh, so you know, like your Heli Hansons and stuff like that. Years ago, they used to be, you know, spot on kit. Um, now, you know, I might as well just buy something like this for six quid. It does exactly the same job. 
Uh, and like I said, it's probably made in the same uh, same factory. Uh, what else have I got? Oh yeah, th these come to the uh, yeah these come through the post today was it? Yeah today, yeah today. Sorry yeah, um, and it's ten uh, mylar bags. As I've said, they are expensive, and you can see the price there. Um, getting closer into the price. I'm not sure how, how that's focusing. Uh, but yeah, for ten of them, it's twenty one pound forty seven p. 10 and 10 um, oxygen absorbers uh, which is, as I've said in my last video yeah it is expensive but get my staples in there <sighs> um, where to start what's been going on in my life um, cut my head open I think the scabs are just going um, that was chopping wood with a little hand axe when I'm you know got the chainsaw out or felling axe or you know any, anything like that um, you know where the owl meet Head protectors, face visor, um, like you know, logging pants uh, or chainsaw pants, boots, gloves, uh, all the protective gear. Uh, but yeah, just in the garden, uh, chopping away uh, just to get some, you know, uh, you know, whittle the wood down a bit. Um, yeah, it's it's a piece. Shot off, hit the garage, come up, bounced off, and it hit me in the head, um, and it, it stung for a bit, um, but but it was all right. But it just got me thinking, you know, I, I, when I'm working with the big stuff, um, I, I take all that protection. When I'm working with the little stuff, I don't. Um, but if it is like, you know, um, shit at the fan time or whatever you want to call it, and there's no doctors around or anything like that, or antibiotics or anything, how uh, quickly, you know, a little cut like that or a little injury um, could turn nasty. So, yeah, so the, that's, that's what's been happening a bit. Um, what else we got? We got um, report today. Um, which I think it's the eleventh of uh, December um, from uh, one of the, the immigration watches or government bodies or something like that. And what they're saying is, since uh, two thousand and one, uh, where he's expecting, um, so what is it? Tw so two million people to come into the country once we open the borders and everything like that. We've actually had four point something um, come onto the island. So now uh, I, I, I look online uh, and I, it's anything between 50 and 70 million people the same. Uh, nobody can give us a firm um, answer. Um, but you know, like way back, you know, just before the war and what have you, or when the war was on, um, they had a study that the, the island was suitable uh, for 40 million people. Um, that's basically we could grow the food we needed here, uh, resort, all the resources we needed uh, without importing anything um, was 40 million people. Um, well, we shit bust on that one, haven't we, really? Um, now we're importing everything, which is costing money, um, and it's all related to trade and, you know, uh, the financial woes of the world. Um, I'm talking about that uh, on Radio 4 on the, while I was doing my, my shopping on the, the, the drive back home. Um, there was on about this fiscal cliff in America where if nothing's decided by January, uh, the world's going to end and the sky's going to fall. Um, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, for the plain fact is, the politicians won't let it. They'll just keep bumping up the prices or you know raising the debt ceiling. Uh, and stuff, stuff like that. So, you know, to our cousins in America, I wouldn't be too worried about that. They're, they're not going to let it happen. Um, but, like I've said, you know, on, on all my previous videos, uh, the, the county is going to get too big to kick one day. Um, I don't know if it'll be in my lifetime, I don't know. And I don't know what the results are going to be. Uh, we've got now got Brighton in Northern Ireland again. Um, and that that's the you know because you know the the the, the lawless want the uh, the union flag up and the the the, uh, the republicans don't. Um, so it's a bit of a mess over there, uh, but a lovely place, uh, absolutely lovely you know lovely country, uh, and great people. Uh, it's just a shame that you know uh, that there's basically a war going on. Not a war, I wouldn't say, but there's a the trouble the tr troubles going on again. All troubles are brewing. I'm just thinking to myself when the the you know the everybody's riding the Celtic Tiger as they used to call it in Dublin and you know there's all this money floating around from the EU uh, the trouble stopped 
Um, but now all the money's drying up, the, the troubles are starting again. So did the troubles really go away? Or were the big boys telling the, uh, the, the, the troops on the streets, you know, pack it in, there's a, we're at peace now. Or we're only at peace because I'm getting me, uh, me back pocket filled uh, with Euros. Uh, I don't know. Um, yes, yeah, so anyway, I'll uh, let you get off. Uh, I've got other things to do um, before I wipe me, before my wife and the kids get over. I need to build a fire up for a start. Uh, cause it's getting rather chillier in the UK. Uh, I've got frost on the cars in the morning, and uh, and I'm seeing them. You know, as I've said before in my winter prep video, where they're driving along with the little post box, you know, clean on the windscreen, which really uh, acts me off at times. Uh, See them people who cause accidents. Right, I'll see you later. Ta-da.